All right, guys, so today I'm going to be taking you through my step-by-step -step process to make an unreal-looking stack of pancakes. So let's get going. All right, guys, so next step is we have our ingredients. So here I have about 20 grams of white chocolate whey protein. Here I have 50 grams of quark cheese. So that's just going to add to the consistency. You can also use some non-fat natural yogurt or um, some any, any other flavored yogurt you want. This is going to be the topping. This is PB2 chocolate flavor, 85% less fat, uh, powdered peanut butter, and that's mixed with Walden Farms chocolate dip. So that's going to go on top. In here we have 10 grams of oats and 10 grams of coconut flour. In here we have 30 grams of avocado cut up. In this already we have 200 grams of egg whites and about 17 grams, 18 grams of an egg yolk. So that's about four eggs in total four whites and one yolk. And then we've also got 100 grams or 100 mils of unsweetened almond milk there. So I'm gonna blend all this up and I'll catch you in the next step. Okay, so that's been blending for about 30 seconds. The thing with me and my pancake is, pancakes is, I like to have a lot of them, so I like to use volume. And you can see here how runny that is. So we don't want that as our, as our consistency for the batter. So a little tip here is to take some xanthan gum. So I take about half a teaspoon or two grams of this. So I'm weighing out two grams. There we go, perfect. And then you can blend, you don't want it to be too thick now. So you can blend until you can either hear it start to slow down or you can, take, you can turn it off after about 10, 15 seconds and check the consistency, see if it's uh, thick enough. If it's too thick though, just add a little bit more mixture and then give it a little whisk up in the shaker or give it another blend. And I also forgot at the start to add some baking powder. So I'm gonna add that now. So that's gonna be about half a teaspoon, if even a little under half a teaspoon, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna blend that up and I'll catch you again in the next step. So now I'm after blending that for only another 20 seconds. So you can see now how much that's thickened up there. So that's considerably thicker now after that xanthan gum. So that actually has a source of fiber, the xanthan gum. It's a bit sweet as well, a bit of a sweetener, and it's a thickening agent used in cooking. So I'm gonna get that pan hot, and I'll catch you guys in the next step. So next step, guys, I've got my mixture here at the side. You can see that. And this is the secret pan I use. This is a special pan that has four different, uh, different spots for, for the pancake mixture and then it's got a flat side here so that goes down there and covers it so it cooks all the way through nice and handy so that's been heating up for a couple of minutes so i'm going to give that a few sprays there also on top and then i'm going to add a little bit of mixture to each part so not too much because otherwise it's going to come out the sides And then I just repeat that process then the next step. So just shake that out into all the compartments. And then once I'm happy with the shape. There we go. Little tap so there's no air bubbles in there. And then I'm just gonna put that lid down. And that was on a high heat just to get the pan nice and hot, but then I'm gonna reduce that heat down to about a medium because you don't want the pancakes to burn on the bottom and then they're not going to cook all the way through at the start. You want them to cook all the way through so that when you flip it, it's not going to go all over the place. So you're going to be able to flip it and then it's going to cook properly on the other side. So I'll catch you guys in the next step when I'm turning them over. So here we are guys, I just flipped them over. So like I said now, you can see they've cooked properly on the bottom and I was able to flip them over without them going all over the place. So now I'm going to leave that lid down and I'm going to let it cook on the other side for another couple of minutes. So if, no, if you don't have this pan, you can use another pan. Uh, same principle, if it's on a small pan, let it cook on the bottom. So first of all, get the pan hot on a high heat, then let it cook on the bottom, covered for about two minutes, let's say, uh, keeping an eye on it, making sure that it's not real wobbly um, on top. So then you're gonna be able to get a spatula, flip it over without it going everywhere. It's gonna keep its shape and then cook it on the other side. And just repeat the process then until all the mixture is used up and you have all your pancakes. 
So when these four are done, I'm gonna put them onto the plate. I'm gonna layer them with that low carb, or sorry, reduced carb strawberry jam. I'll show you guys the jam I'm using at the time. And then I'm gonna repeat the process until all the mixture is used. So I'll catch you guys then. So now I've got the first stack down and I'm going to add about 20 grams of this here. So if you can see that freest, it's no added sugar, jam, and the macros on the back, it's per 100 grams is 90 calories. Compared to other jams, I mean, let me see, 20 grams of carbs per 100 grams of jam. Now if you like your jam, that is heaven, because any other jam, 100 grams is about 67, maybe more grams of carbs, and there's only 14 grams, <coughs> grams per, uh, 14 grams of sugar and then contained in fruit, in brackets, whatever that means. Um, ingredients, strawberries, strawberry juice, fruit juice, gelling agent, pectin and xanthan gum, we use that for my mixture. Sweetener is sucralose and preservative potassium sorbate. That's the ingredients list, it's really good guys. You can get that in Tesco or Dunn's or any of your local supermarkets, just have a look in the health food section. Okay, so I'm gonna add 20 grams of that to the top here. And then I'm going to put the next stack down on the top. Then I'm going to add the PB2 and Walden Farms chocolate dip mixture I had at the start. And then I'm going to decorate it with broken up Oreos and strawberries. And I'll show you guys a picture of the finished product when that's done. Okay guys, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, that would really help me out. And uh, if anyone's not following me already on Instagram or like my Facebook page or is following me on Twitter, I'll put the, the link is gonna be down as always in the description box. The macros will be in the description box at the end as well. And I'll also, for the pan I'm using, if anyone's interested in using that, I'll go onto my Amazon account or eBay, I think it was, whatever. I'll get the link to where I bought it from if anyone's interested. I don't think it's too much. I think it's like 20 euro or something like that. Not too much. And um, if anyone's interested, okay? So I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned.